ever found yourself transported to the scenic landscapes of Hawaii with a charismatic Mustachio detective at the helm? If so, chances are you've delved into the world of Magnum P.I., a timeless television series that left an indelible mark on the 1980s. Magnum P.I. captivated audiences with its blend of mystery, action, and a dash of humor. As you revisit this classic show, one might wonder, is there a particular scene or moment that has lingered in your memory, shaping your connection with this iconic series? Or perhaps, a cherished memory is tethered to the adventures that unfolded on the screen. Before we dive into the details, have you ever contemplated your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this series? We're eager to hear your stories and reflections in the comments below. Now, let's uncover some intriguing facets of Magnum P.I. That may reignite your appreciation for this television gem. Did you know that the Ferrari 308 GTS, driven by the suave Thomas Magnum, was originally slated for the show? In a twist of fate, the sleek red Ferrari became an integral part of Magnum's persona, adding a touch of luxury to his laid-back investigative style. Another interesting tidbit revolves around the character of Higgins, whose full name Jonathan Keel Higgins I.I. mirrors the sophistication and eccentricity that became synonymous with the character. As you reminisce about the show, these random facts might stir up nostalgic recollections. What's your take on these behind-the-scenes glimpses? Any surprises or insights that deepen your appreciation for the Magnum P.I.? Universe, we invite you to share your thoughts, memories, and anecdotes about Magnum P.I. In the comments below, is there a scene that made you laugh uncontrollably or a moment that left you on the edge of your seat? Your stories enrich the collective experience of this iconic series. So, with Magnum P.I., as our guide, let's embark on a journey down memory lane, celebrating the moments that have become etched in the tapestry of television history. We look forward to hearing your tales. In the world of Magnum P.I., one notable recurring character stands out Agatha Chumley, played by Gillian Dobb. Surprisingly, Dobb had no professional acting background before her role on the show. Her only link to the entertainment world was through the Honolulu Community Theater. Another interesting aspect revolves around the four-legged companions of Thomas Magnum, Zeus, and Apollo. These Doberman pinchers were not portrayed by a single dog, rather, multiple dogs were interchangeably used, all provided by professional handlers. What's intriguing is that despite being clearly male, some female Dobermans took on the role of the lads. Originally slated for Southern California, the show's setting took a different turn. Magnum P.I. found its home in the picturesque surroundings of Hawaii instead. Whether it's the unexpected acting debut of Agatha Chumley, the interchangeable Zeus, and Apollo played by different Dobermans, or the shift from California to Hawaii, Magnum P.I. holds its own in the realm of 1980s television. The show's unique characters and unexpected twists contribute to its enduring popularity. In Magnum's world, wheels and rotors played key roles. The iconic Ferrari 308 GTS, a symbol of speed and style, was Magnum's ride. Meanwhile, Higgins navigated the island in an Audi 5000 or other rugged vehicles like the GMC Jimmy and Jeep Cherokee XJ. But it wasn't just about cars, TC. S Island Hopper Charter Service soared with a Hughes 500 helicopter, a military-bred bird with multicolored wings. The chopper fleet boasted D-Series and C-Series variants, showcasing aerial prowess. Amidst the revving engines and whirling blades, camaraderie had its own language. TC, the co-pilot of Magnum's adventures, had a unique nickname for Higgins' Higgy Baby. Notably, TC was the lone main cast member to address Higgins by his first name. These distinct monikers echoed through the series, adding a touch of familiarity to the sunny escapades of Hawaii. From the sleek Ferrari to the versatile choppers, Magnum P.I. was a symphony of vehicles, each playing its part in the sun-soaked tales of the 80 seconds. The island's dust and sea breeze carried the echoes of Higgy Baby and the purr of a Ferrari engine, etching the show into the annals of television history. Magnum's Navy Cross and Special Warfare insignia on his uniform reveal his SEAL background, earning him the nation's second highest award for naval personnel. Notably, the show dominated Thursday nights until the Cosby Show debut. A quasi-reunion in Las Vegas, featuring Tom Selleck, Roger E. Mosley, 
and Larry Minetti excluded John Hillerman, who retired in 1996. This blend of military prowess and TV ratings cemented Magnum P.I. as place in television history, showcasing a unique mix of action and popularity. In the realm of action-packed TV crossovers, Magnum P.I. stands out for its collaboration with Simon and & Simon and & Murder, she wrote. However, plans for potential crossovers with The Equalizer and Quantum Leap never materialized. The series showcased a dynamic interplay of characters from different shows, adding an extra layer of excitement for fans. Amidst Magnum's escapades on the Robin Masters estate, Higgins, armed with a British Webley MKVI .455 caliber revolver, brought a touch of historical military flair. A standard British military issue weapon from both world wars, it hinted at Higgins' personal connection to the British Army in World War II. This detail not only added depth to the character, but also showcased the series' attention to historical authenticity. Shifting gears to the real estate front, the iconic Robin's Nest estate, featured prominently in the series, made headlines in 2014. Listed for a staggering $15,750,000, it eventually sold for $8.7 million in March 2015. In a surprising turn, all buildings on the estate met their demise in April 2018, closing a chapter on the physical remnants of Magnum's adventures. These behind-the-scenes snippets offer a glimpse into the intricate tapestry of Magnum P.I., where crossover excitement, historical nods, and real estate drama converge to enrich the show's legacy. A blend of action, history, and unexpected turns, Magnum P.I. carved its niche in television history. In the realm of Magnum P.I., a noteworthy fact adds an intriguing layer to the show's behind-the-scenes dynamics. Tom Selleck and Mike Post, key contributors to the series, shared a high school connection. Both were classmates at Grant High School in Van Nuys, California. This unexpected link sheds light on the camaraderie that went beyond the screen, potentially influencing the show's collaborative spirit. Now, let's delve into the diverse facial hair choices among the cast. Larry Manetti, a regular member of the ensemble, held a unique distinction. While most sported mustaches, Manetti stood out as the sole cast member without one. However, in a fascinating twist during Season 4, Episode 20, titled Dream a Little Dream, set in 1979, he briefly adopts a pencil mustache during his Humphrey Bogart phase. This departure from the norm adds a subtle touch of character evolution, showcasing the series' attention to detail. Beyond on-screen dynamics, Tom Selleck's personal life intertwined with the show in unexpected ways. Notably, both of Selleck's wives, Jacqueline Ray, and future wife Jilly Mack, made appearances. The show mirrored Selleck's life journey, featuring his estrangement from, and later divorce with Ray, while also introducing Mac later in the series. Moreover, Selleck's family members, including his father Bob Selleck, mother Martha Selleck, and adoptive son Kevin Selleck, had brief appearances. A poignant detail emerges in later seasons when a photo of Selleck's parents graces Magnum's bedside table, offering a glimpse into the actor's personal connections woven into the fabric of the show. These off-screen elements, from high school connections to the nuances of facial hair and personal relationships, add depth to the Magnum P.I. narrative. They provide a richer understanding of the dynamics that shape the show, making it more than just a series but a reflection of the interconnected lives of its key contributors. As we bid adieu to this journey through the magnetic charisma of an era gone by, remember the indelible mark left by that certain mustachioed maverick and his adventures beneath the Hawaiian sun. The resonating echoes of Magnum's exploits linger in the corridors of our memories, a testament to a time when the world seemed simpler, the stakes higher, and the mustaches undeniably iconic. As we close this chapter, take a moment to wander down the labyrinth of your own recollections. What resonates? Is it the swaggering charm of Tom Selleck, the allure of tropical escapades, or perhaps the undeniable camaraderie of the eclectic ensemble? Magnum P.I. wasn't merely a show, it was a vivid tapestry woven with threads of laughter, suspense, and a touch of Magnum's signature nonchalance. Now, in the quiet aftermath of our journey, consider this an open invitation to share the fragments of Magnum P.I. that cling to your memory. 
Whether it's a favorite plot twist, a memorable Higgins retort, or just the lilt of that unforgettable theme song, let your thoughts ripple through the digital realms, unearth those hidden gems, and let the collective nostalgia thrive. Your stories, your reflections, become the threads that stitch this timeless narrative into the fabric of our collective consciousness. So, dear reader, indulge us with your musings, for it is in the shared embrace of cherished memories that we find the true magic of Magnum's legacy. Thank you for joining us on this nostalgic sojourn. Your time and thoughts are the treasures that make this adventure worthwhile. Until the next rendezvous with the echoes of yesteryear, happy reminiscing and stay ever in the warm glow of those Hawaiian sunsets, crafted with fondness and a touch of vintage flair.